Hey loves, how's everybody doing? I have like a quick question. This is like a random, I don't know, very weird video, but for some reason, and I'm not trying to be full of myself, we're like, oh my god, now I'm going to unsubscribe to me. As I've had my channel, I've always had like people unsubscribe and subscribe, it would go up and then, you know, it might go down a little bit and then it'll go up again and it'll, you know, continue to grow. Now for the past couple of like, I swear it's been like two months now. Every single time I post a video, I lose 5 to 10 subscribers. Okay. Now I could, they just might, maybe they don't like my videos. That's at first I was like, okay, maybe people just don't like what I'm posting. I don't know. But I don't have any comments saying that, and I don't have any thumbs down on these videos that I'm posting. So you would think, like, you get a, I don't know. And at the same time, I have, I've had quite a few people tell me that, They've been unsubscribed to me, but they didn't unsubscribe to me. They had to resubscribe to me. So I'm just wondering if any of you have, like, had to resubscribe to me or, like, unsubscribed but didn't unsubscribe, if that makes sense. Because I looked it up, and it seems that, like, it can happen. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's, like, it keeps staying at the same, at the same. And then I'll go up a couple, I'll post a video, and it goes back down. I don't know. Honestly, it's so freaking weird, but I've been, um... I've been out of it lately, so I haven't been posting a lot, and I haven't been posting a lot of personal videos. They're mostly all hauls and, you know, stuff like that, because honestly, when I'm in a good mood, I like to post hauls. I like to talk about makeup, and I've been buying way too much. I have to stop, but it's kind of like, I don't know. It, it, it does something. It makes me happy, so what the hell, you know, I don't know. I'm just trying to fight this depression that I'm dealing with and anxiety and people just really don't get it a lot of people and I'm not talking about you guys a lot of I think everybody understands some people get it and some people don't and it's just I guess it's just a hard thing to understand that when someone has such deep anxiety and it's just hard to deal with things and hard to do things that are simple tasks I don't know so it's been a little tough uploading's been tough vlogging I've been wanting to but I, I just I don't I'm I feel like such shit but I'm happy it's such a weird thing and I need to push out of this and I am pushing out of this and the definitely like summer is helping it always does it always helps but I don't know I think I definitely have to try to start moving more it's pain is one thing like I have body pain so that makes me not want to work out obviously when you hurt yourself or when you're hurt you don't want to you don't want to do anything but it's like it, it's just the energy my energy is so low and so that doesn't help because exercise really does it sets off the endorphins and feel like it makes me feel better and you know I've been eating decent I haven't been like binge eating or anything like that but I do eat still such shit and I'm drinking soda and I need to stop that I need to just keep on the water I need to there's so many fucking things I need to do and I know this like I give such good advice yet I don't take it <laughs> But I guess I just wanted to come on here and be a little bit personal and ask a question if anybody knows anything about that. I'm just curious. I mean, if people are just unsubscribing because they don't like the content or myself or whatever it is, that's fine. But I'm just wondering, like, why? What the hell? It's so weird. Like, I don't get it. It's never done this. And I don't know. I'm going to keep doing that. That's not, I am not here to make fans or for anything like that. I'm so glad of the friends that I have made, but I've never come on here for that. So I don't know. It's just a therapeutic thing for me. I think that this can be very therapeutic. It's um, not the easiest fucking thing to talk to a camera and put it out there, but it's so therapeutic. And especially like my personal videos, which are like, wait, I haven't done in so long, but I, you know, I, I get some horrific comments, but more than the horrific comments, I get some wonderful comments from people who just like tell me that it's helped them or inspired them and just I don't know that makes me feel so fucking good I have no words to even like express how fucking good that makes me feel and I have not watched that video that I've posted like a lot of the personal ones I don't rewatch because I probably would delete it because I feel so vulnerable and I feel so I always feel very bad about myself I'm definitely my worst critic and I always kind of like I'm less than I'm not it's not good enough it's, I'm crazy people so I don't really watch anything because I don't want to start thinking that about myself and then delete shit because I've done that before so I'm just I leave it alone and I, I know what I've said I just you know you don't remember exactly it's like I don't know I just I want to make more videos like that but it's really tough because I think I've been in a low spot so it's tough to vocalize that and it's a very vulnerable thing, which is tough. So the kind of just doing makeup and stuff is almost, in, it's like a fake in a way, but it isn't because it's really what's me. I'm totally love makeup ever since I was a kid. Like, I need to do a story time on the first, on my shoplifting makeup 
mayhem when I was, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I need to do makeup story times. Like, I've always had this, like, hardcore obsession with makeup. And, no, I'm not a shoplifter. I don't shoplift. But, like, a story time of when I was, like, 10 years old and got banned from Rite Aid. Yeah. Maybe that's the story time in itself. Well, okay, let's just do this. Quick story time. I went to Rite Aid, me and my friends. Always fucking loved makeup. Used to get my um, my grandmother and my aunt's like old Lancome lipsticks and my family's French so they always use Lancome and like anything like that and when Revlon would have sales I'd buy them and of course Bonnie Bell and all that shit but like I just wanted makeup I wanted fucking eyeshadow and my mother was like no honey you're not wearing blue eyeshadow and you know you know the struggle was real at 10 years old so I went to Rite Aid with my friends on the bicycle and I I popped the fucking eyeshadow out of the little palette, out of the little thing, and put it in my pocket. And then the guy, we went outside, and right basically on the side of the building, we were, like, looking at this eyeshadow that we stole, like, little thieving, little hooligans. And the fucking owner comes out, of course, and catches me. And he's like, I'm going to go check to see if I could find it. Because I was like, this is mine. I had it, little liar. And he's like, I'm going to go and check. And I'm going to be right back. Don't go anywhere. And of course, yeah, right. Okay, so we ran ran across the street. Almost get hit by a car. Who the fuck almost hit me in the car? Out of all people. I live in a, in a inner city. There's a lot of people. Out of all the people, thousands of people in this town, who almost runs me over? My mother. And she is like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, oh my god, I stole. And he, she, yeah, he told me I wasn't allowed back in Rite Aid. So Rite Aid always terrified me from like 10 to 17. <laughs> like, no, it just gave me bad feelings. I'm like, oh my god, I'm such a thief. But yeah, that's my story time. But So yeah, anyways, back to what I was saying. Makeup is a true love for me. So when I do makeup hauls, when I talk about it, because I truly love it. So it's real, but it's also not real in a way. You know what I mean? It's not personal. It's not like getting into my real shit, you know what I mean? But I'm going to leave it here. I don't want this to be too long. And, yeah, I'm going to try to do my best on vlogging more. If you guys have any, um, if anybody's watching this and you have any type of videos you'd like to see, I'd love to know. And, yeah, if you've ever been, like, unsubscribed or anything, I'd like to know that, too. It's just weird. It's not like any, I could do anything about it. It really doesn't matter. But I would hate. Like, that's just weird. And I've actually noticed here and there that I've been unsubscribed to people that I've subscribed to that I would never unsubscribe to, and then I have to resubscribe to them. That's a lot of subscription talk. Okay, I'm done. Lots of love. Happy 4th of July weekend to all. And, yeah, I'm, like, fucking musical here. Okay, I'm going to stop. Bye. <laughs>